everybody happy holidays oh yes I was working on my Christmas project and of course I'm a little bit late on the delivery of the project this is photo folio 2 style 1 started it last year just finished it this year one of those type of projects so um, started it last year and it features the Webster pages all that glitters paper collection I have a second paper pad of it which has some beautiful papers fell in love with it last year fell back in love with it again this year so love the little Santa who's upside down there he is anyway let's get started so this is so here it has a magnetized closure and a pocket on the front and see this year I added all this gold foiling because now it's in style right just love the gold foiling. This is actually a matte gold foiling. So it's a little bit, it's not a shiny, but I still love it nonetheless. And here's a nice little pocket right here in the front. This is a craft text closure. Here I use the Martha Stewart um, snowflake punch, not a die. This is the photo folio opened up. Here, this is a sticker from last year. Um, what brand was this? I don't remember. I think this is pink paisley. I think this is a pink paisley stickers from last year. Here is another snowflake die cut piece and a little closure, a little magnetized closure. Here is Santa. Yes, I'm a Santa person. Here are her two little photo mats right there. So two photo mats right here in this little double pocket, which is lined with this beautiful gold paper. Let me pull this out a little bit more. Here I just paper clipped a little 3x4 card. Here's a spot for a photograph on the back. Hopefully I'm in frame. This is just a little snowflake punch. And here I just added some paper, used one of the cards. I embellished here, Santa there. Close it back, put on the little paper clip. Loving the paper clip, the big paper clip. All right, and here I did some tag toppers, and all I did here was just use a little snowflake die for the tag, tag topper, and I did this actually in silver foiled paper, and so it has two pockets right here, matted the pockets, played with paper, don't we all love to do that with the pretty paper, here's a little spot for photograph, another spot for photograph, but I decided to use it as a spot for just some scrapbooking look at this isn't this cute and I found this die this is a die by diamonds die look for all this information in the description box but it's um like you know the icicles it's not pretty and I use a glitter paper here is another photo photo spot photo mat photo opportunity photo opportunity photo opportunity in this lovely stacked pocket let me stick them back in with the little tag toppers. Love that. I need to stick this one back in all the way down. Of course, it's not working when I'm filming. Whatever. Close that section back. Open it up to the next section. Here is Santa. And this, I use a little die cut piece. Added, I just matted it on the back just to make it a little bit better. But um, I turned it into a large photo mat. So I have... Santa relaxing in our great Florida sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, this is, I think this is for like a 5x5 five five photo that goes into this lovely pocket. Isn't this paper great? This is that Webster's, all that glitters. I don't know if you could find it. Maybe you could still find it. You know, but I just think it's so pretty. Here's another page here. And I was going to put something here. I just haven't decided. And I didn't want to put a, a photo mat here to say place photo because I don't want to add too much bulk for something that's already getting bulky. Um, here's another spot. This I was just playing. This is a 3x4 card and another 3x4 card stacked on each other. I made and a I little opening here so I could stick little tags in them just to make it a little more interactive. Here's another assembly here with the magnet and I put a little snowflake die playing with the paper again. It also features two pockets with photo mats in them. And here is the same little flip out. Now here you could put a photo, of course. I decided that I enjoyed the paper, so I used paper instead. On the back though, I did put a spot for a five by seven photo. Here I use the tag toppers again. 
as photo mats, more lining of the paper. And this tag topper is the easiest thing. I think what makes it look so elegant is the little snowflake die, right? In the foil, makes it look like, oh, great, oh wow, it looks so great. It's just a little, this is glued on. <laughs> Two spots for photos, actually, well, three spots. This one here, I was just um, putting a four by six card and then added some more snowflake dies. Here's another stacked pocket, again, with photo mats inside. You can pull them out. See, look at the pretty paper. Isn't that gold paper beautiful? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I also put the gold paper here. This now is uh, two die cuts that I bought at Michael's. I just thought they were so cute, the reindeer. And here I did some little um, playing with the paper, layering of paper. This whole assembly closes and is magnetized. So it's one whole section. So we have one assembly here, little paper, little page in the middle, another assembly here, and now we're coming up to the final assembly back here on this left side. Here's another deep pocket, and um, I had found this. This is another die cut piece, I think, that came from Michael's as well. It's a lovely pocket. This paper is We Are Memory Keepers. It's an ornament page. I think I only use one sheet out of the whole paper collection, but I do like this ornament paper. And here I, I got this glitter tape with the, with the script on it, Tis the Season. That came from Michael's as well. And two photo mats. I need to stamp this with the white stamp. I just didn't do it yet because, oh, it's, it's such a pain. You have to clean off this stamp completely, then stamp it in the white. Then when you stamp it with the white, you have to wait like 10 minutes before you can even touch it because the white ink is pigment ink. So I didn't get around to that yet, but I will. Here, this is another little journaling card. I use that. That's another uh, Webster's page, but that comes from their sh your sheet collection. Here's just a regular gold paper clip. If you don't have the big paper clips, you can get these small ones. I got this at Office Depot. And here's another little journaling card and a spot for photograph. Stick it there. So I use a clip two sides, one side here, one side here. That's why when I pulled it off, things went flying, but I can make it work. And here's another spot for photographs, photo opportunity, photo opportunity. So that's four photographs. And now oh, here I am at the last page assembly, magnetized page assembly. And this, I think these were, hmm, I want to say Pink Paisley, Merry and Bright. It was um, chipboard pieces or die cut pieces from last year. But I, I opened it up and I realized, oh, look at these beautiful snowflakes. I mean, if you have a snowflake die, you can use that as well. But I liked how the size was so big that it did complement the closure here perfectly. So I use three of the die cut pieces out of that pack. And here again with the Webster's paper, just enjoying the paper. You, you could stack two photographs here, but I think I'll just leave it with the paper. Made a big tag. Here's a three by four card with Santa. Santa on a scooter. I think that's just adorable. Uh, another photo opportunity, photo opportunity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photo opportunities. Now with this, I, I know it looks, it may look white to you, but I purposely picked like a kind of a, hmm, what's the color we call it? It's not ebony, but um, not, what am I talking about, ebony? Ivory, hello. It's, it's more of an ivory paper. <laughs> it's more of like an off-white paper, and I think it, it fits the paper line very well. I think if I had used like bright white, it would have been too stark. So I kinda, it's, it's just a little ivory. That's what I mean to say. Another tag that fits right here into this little pocket, this little square pocket. So see how it looks? Nice square pocket. Whole assembly with its eight photo opportunities. Folds up nicely like so. We flip on the back here. I used again this Webster pages. So you can see that I kinda really do like this ornament paper. Found another big snowflake die cut piece. This came from Michaels. I just played with some paper here with some um, foil paper, the matte foil paper. And on the back, so this doesn't lift. 
Um, this is a stacked pocket. This paper actually comes from, this is new, American Crafters Deck the Halls. Only one sheet from the entire collection I liked, but I figured it matched with everything. And another stacked pocket with photo mats. And I did a little play there with some journaling pieces. And see the pocket? Even without the photo mats in it, I, I just love, love the pocket. I love this red and silver and white. I think it's just so pretty, so crisp and clean. So that goes in like so. My little tags with the tag topper snowflake. And uh, I'd have to tell you, I'd have to put in the description box what snowflake dye that is. But it is a dye that I had cut. Because I realized when you use a punch with the foil paper, the edges don't come out smooth. The edges come out kind of fray, like I guess it's the foil is laid onto the paper. So when you cut it with the punch, it just sort of frays. But when you cut it with a die, I think the die creates that pressure. So it pushes down on it. It just looks cleaner and better. So you gotta get dyes, I know. But the punch is just not pretty. Here's another snowflake die cut piece with this pocket and look at that. This is, so this is the matte foil paper. I think this is basil actually. Basil matte foil, matte gold foil. And so it has a pocket here. I'll stuff it with something. And then here I used a red brad. So it turns. I didn't do the back. So, so the back is plain. Oh, I don't want to mess it up like that. But the back is plain. Just didn't want to keep matting and matting and add so much bulk. Open it up. There you go. Another pocket again. So these are like little just envelopes. Fun. Interactive. And they're all magnetized. Problem when you put all the magnets here, they get wonky. <laughs> so I had to put, because it's magnet upon magnet upon magnet. So I put a magnet up here in the corner just so this would lay flat because it started to kind of, they started to fight each other. Just a little tip in case you ever have that problem happen to you. Here's another envelope. I think it's just, yes, four envelopes only. And then the envelopes flip open. So even though I put this down for a year, I came back this year and it's new to me. I fell in love again and it pulls out. Here I put a photo mat, and so this whole envelope assembly is here. I did mat the back here, but like I said, I didn't mat these. These I could just put photographs or just leave them. At this, I mean, you know, only some scrapbooking friend would go, what's on the back? <laughs> Nobody else would, you know? But if I was to mat it, it would start getting too, too thick. So this is the little belly band that the envelopes fit in. I use some of the snowflake dyes. I think this dye actually is um, Lawn Fawn. Lawn Fawn snowflake dye mini snowflakes. I'll double check. You can look in the description box. Slide this back in and it fits so beautifully and so neat. But that's what I love is how neat it is. And here, this is the last bottom assembly. This is magnetized as well. Santa photo opportunity photo opportunity let me slide it up a little bit and then this now you could have just put four by six photographs here but I decided I wanted to still continue playing with paper on the back though I did the four by six so here we go again with that Webster's paper photograph Webster's paper love the isn't this red and white just beautiful beautiful I think next Christmas yeah next Christmas I'm gonna do a some project with just red white and silver I know gold is in but I like the silver photograph on the back the magic of Christmas, and then this photograph, photograph. This whole thing closes up like so and flips out here. Put two more photo opportunities here. And then now here now, this is a waterfall. Four by six vertical waterfall. So you could put photograph here, of course. I decided to play with the paper and of course the uh, snowflake die. Flip it open. Now here I lined with the shiny gold. I just felt like shiny on this side. So this is shiny gold strips cut down. I realized that when I use tape and use a gold foil, it, um, it becomes a little tacky after a while. I, I think I like the clean, clean look of just cutting the paper and just gluing it down the foil paper. Here we go again with a four by six card, photo opportunity, four by six journaling card, opportunity. 
this is me just playing with the card so I cut out the Santa put some silver snowflakes just playing with paper photo opportunity another just a piece of just a, just a piece of the cardstock cut down the Webster's cardstock photo opportunity another card and I think what you're seeing here these cards this this and this is another Webster's Christmas collection from last year didn't like the collection I only liked some of the pages out of it so I bought like maybe two three sheets the most and then I just cut them up and use them in this project yes I like to mix the, so I I know it's I know if you wanted to get exactly this you'd have to go looking all over creation for it but you could do just fine with this paper collection it doesn't have a ton of journaling cards that's why I think I did I did invest in these and I do do like it, it does complement, and I that's probably why I use this because see how the colors pick up each other, but they bounce back with the Webster's collection. Anyway, that closes like so. Here I lined the inside, and while the glue was wet on the craft text, I decided to fold. Okay, so don't make don't make this mistake where you get all these ugly wrinkles because I couldn't fix it after I did it. If I had did it again, I would have put the paper on let it dry thoroughly like Kathy tells us to dry thoroughly then train the paper but I didn't do that I just glued it on and bent it and then I got all these ugly wrinkles so there's a tip from my mistake but it's on the inside and not on the outside thank goodness and on the back I just kept it simple with this polka dot paper so that's it this is photo folios 2 style one yes happy holidays i'll be coming back with another video because i did two projects this christmas Yay. all right take care thanks for watching bye